three quarters of the European Union's international trade travels by sea. But this comes at a cost. More specifically, around 140 million tons of CO2 emissions every year. The EU sets sail towards decarbonization of maritime transport. But how? Take the port of Rotterdam, the largest in Europe. It emits almost 20 million tons of carbon dioxide per year. But green solutions are on the horizon. Hydrogen-powered vessels are already operating in these ports. Fitted with an electric motor and fuel cells, they produce almost zero greenhouse gases. Meanwhile, fully electric vessels are quiet, clean and up to 50% more profitable than diesel on short routes thanks to smaller crews, less maintenance and improved efficiency. However, there are downsides. For one, green hydrogen is expensive. Additionally, for long distances, electric ships need large batteries that take up a lot of cargo space. So for now, liquefied natural gas remains the most common alternative fuel used for container ships, which still emits carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. The EU mandates an 80% emissions cut for large vessels by 2050, leaving it up to operators to choose how, whether through hydrogen, electrification or other renewable low-carbon fuel. But with high costs and few incentives, green shipping is not yet cost-competitive.